Hello, my name is Adam Bean and let's implement a web component and connect it with Java E8 backend. So let's start with Java E8 backend. What I would like to do is to create a project from Maven Wizard, so-called archetype. And I would like to use the Java E8 template with the recent version. It's already in Maven Central and we'll call it, um, uh, how to call it? Pink, pink, pink is a nice name. So. And this is going to be pink anyway. So I'm using the Payara 5, which uh, understands Java EE 8. Now the template is fetched and created. And it the template, also the project is fetched and created. And uh, the name is pink. And what I have here is the, just the dependency of Java 8. And I would like to add the dependency to course. And uh, this is my own dependency because it only comprises one simple class. So let's add that. So this is the course dependency. We will need it because I would like to create the HTML5 web component part in a separate project, which is more realistic. So now I have this um, and let's focus on the business logic. So it already comes with a simplistic uh, resource and I would like to, to create some a little bit more uh, functionality and I would like to add an entity pink entity and the uh, pink entity has one property message and I would like also add a constructor for convenience and one method string to JSON and this time I would like to use the Java 8 API this is JSON builder from JSON bind create and then to JSON and say this so for consist for consistency, I would like to name it the same. So to JSON, done. And then uh, here in ping resource, what I can do is just to say return new ping. Uh, this is not JavaScript yet. So I feel good to JSON. So should work, done. So now run it. And I would like to use the Payara 5. So run it. And it opened the project uh, in a browser resources pink. And I would just remember the URI and switch to terminal. Because if I do this, um, you see the, the these are the course headers, which are required. Otherwise, I will get an error in Chrome. So uh, now let's start with the app. So uh, what I prepared is an empty HTML, which only imports or imports, which only uh, uh, yeah includes a JavaScript. There is there is nothing else included. So this this meta is just uh, a hint for mobile browsers, but there is there is nothing else included. And um, so let's start with the implementation of a web component. So class uh, pink extends HTML element. So we have that, and then I would like to um, to register the component, and the name of the component has to have a dash included, and uh, I will have to use the class for the registration. So works, and then let's uh, in, uh, let's uh, introduce a getter, and this is going to be uh, or setter set uri set uri set uri this is what i actually wanted to do uri and what i going to do is uh, or get uri is more more interesting uh, return this uh, get attribute and the attribute is going to be uh, uri so this is what I need. Then in the method connected callback, I would like to do the following. I would like to fetch and what the URI. So this URI. So it should invoke the getter. And then say, if I'm done, then uh, take the response and convert the response to JSON. Response to JSON. And then I have my JSON. And after I have my JSON, I can do the following. I can say, okay, 
uh, I would like to, this is my JSON, and I would like to set my own my own content to, and this was message, j.message. So uh, should work, and let's see what happens. I can write a, do, sl a slash post uri equals, this is the uri, and then post a post, and switch to web components, and you see I feel good. So this is the first component, uh, the, uh, there, there's our, our post component, I feel good, and of course we can say um, J message with a prefix that you see that is actually comes from the component and prefix I feel good. So this was the, an intro to web components, custom elements. I didn't use Shadow DOM yet, but if you are interested in it, take a look at the web components online workshop. See you at uh, Munich projects, conferences, and uh, enjoy standards. So thank you for watching and bye.